All right, we're looking at winner's semis. Boss versus Trez. It looks like they're skipping the hand warmer. Going right for the business. Oh, man. All right. Uh, boss Diddy player. Travis, as you were seeing a little while ago, if you're watching like the whole long recording of it, uh, pretty solid Zelda, Zelda chic dual main. Yep. Um, and he's, he's one person that I saw really does the chic thing well. He'll set up fire and he'll go to Sheik and he'll take advantage of the newly created <laughs> field he has set out. Uh, yeah, um, Travis, I, Travis, uh, I'm just gonna call him Travis because he's my friend. But yeah, Travis, uh, one of the strongest players around here, if not underappreciated, honestly. Uh, he was my first round and I'm a good man, so like, this is all note-taking, this is note-taking right. time for me. <laughs> and it, that, that's getting into business quick. Yeah, I mean, boss kind of just on another level. Uh, You're on boss, so. Yeah, he's got a gorgeous setup on this game. Right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, here's some really good wave throws. I mean, it's humongous space that he's doing right there. This is all, again, this is me with my notepad right now. I mean, I know Tra uh, T Raz, uh, he's not, he's a very fundamental player. He doesn't really wave dash a lot. Um, he doesn't really... Uh, is, he, is he brawl back? Yes, he's a brawl back. So, yeah, so he's, he's not really a... He knows how to deal with the projectiles, just... He, he, he doesn't, like, you know, wave dash in to pick up the projectiles. And that fair is really solid taking that stock. So. Yeah. yeah, I see a lot of brawl players have uh, humongous advantages in spacing, because that game was won <laughs> by spacing. Yeah, it's and, uh, like yeah. He, he played raw in uh, in raw. Okay. So he 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 does have a very good uh, spacing. Yeah, a lot of melee game. players uh, who, who did well in melee succeeded by being explosive and spacing came second. Whereas brawl players and then with characters like Zelda. I love how he does that. Like he protects his double jump with the uh, with the neutral B, the Nehru's love. Mm -hmm. Like it's such a good tech. Oh, it oh. says denied, <laughs> denied. But that forward smash is gonna take that. That was a, oh, no. that was a little bit of a Randy forward smash, but you know, no, I, I mean, didn't. you got invincibility. You might as well use it. I didn't see it. Neither did uh, oh, uh, Travis. Here. I, like I like how he's T-Raz. I like how he's Zart here and T-Raz down there. Yeah, it's it's just T-Raz backwards. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> and I remember the first time I played him. Uh, played him, and he's just like. He's such a. I, I love having Travis around because like he also he also plays like really like weird jank characters like DDD okay. and Rob and stuff like so I'm really happy I have Travis because like it gives me that it gives me like matchup experience with these char those characters that you know going really good. I just know if you saw that heads up this, but it didn't work out for Boss because there's too many frames. He tried to down dodge with the uh, Zelda teleport so he can get oh, a yeah. grab it. Ooh, nice the, drops in for that. Up. There's so many options with that LP, it kills in every direction. <laughs> yeah, try the uh, Tiraz is he really needs to get better at uh, sweet spotting that ledge yep. with his uh, with his teleport because uh, that's really getting him punished a lot. And that yeah, that's not forgiven by a player with boss. All right, looks like he banned uh, Green Hill and WarioWare. So two decent bands. Uh, Go. Oh, Yoshi's story. Yoshi's story. Right, I can see. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, he, he's going sheep. Yeah, he's yeah, he okay. to start a sheep. Uh, he's going for a more aggressive approach. I, I assume. <coughs> you know, the time Excuse he spends me. floating for a character, for a person like Boss, that's more time than Boss can be. Ooh, oh. uh, it punishes Target that air dodge. Ooh, and uh, that's the problem with Sheik. Nice. Right, switching right back switching to right Zelda, back to and he protects his uh, transformation uh, with this, the uh, neutral beam. This happened in our game with Diddy. Oh! Oh! oh. And there you go. Beautiful gun. Textbook. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard to commentate in this one. Yeah. Uh, you know, what, what, is, what does Travis need to do right now? What, what is his goal? What is his game plan? Um, his game plan, normally, what his game plan is, is rack up damage with Sheik, and then... Uh, get the kills with Zelda. He's not really keeping to that game plan though. Like, uh, I I personally believe his Zelda is a much, much better. Uh, he was originally a Zelda main. Uh, oh, excellent use of the freaking, uh, the, the uh, little 
Dins fire, so... Yeah. Oh, and then up air. I was with the first eight. I just remember fire. I just say fire setups. Fire! <laughs> fire! <laughs> <laughs> Did he use that invincibility time to do a setup? Like, Good meteor like, cancel. I would say those bananas were not necessary, but that meteor cancel should save uh, it Travis for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, get up attack, yeah. best attack in the game. It's like, it, pretty, it really. It, uh, Oh, good. There's that. Oh, there's never, I would have loved to see him go out there with the back air. There was never a resting moment for Travis. There's too much perfectly applied pressure going on right now. That he's not getting a resting moment. Oh, a nice night lightning kick to the yeah. face. Beautiful forward air. He's, he's doing all the good switching, and it paid off this time. Excellent. Get yeah. that, get that uh, but that backer is going to take that. So you know what? He kept it respectable because he was down. It was, it was four to four to one. So mm -hmm. he kept it respectable. He, he brought it to uh, a two stock deficit. 